So when you first learned HTML, you probably realized pretty quickly that viewing the text in the web browser was not optimal. The HTML was created to be able to make the text a little bit more appealing and useful. It's much more user-friendly to have the HTML tags rather than just using plain text. So because HTML works by adding tags to the text, you can use PHP to also send HTML tags to the browser along with other data. So here's an example where I have a basic page. It's kind of similar to what I did before. The differences are, are that I added some embedded styles which are going to style something with a class of bold and make it blue. And then I just add some additional text. So currently my page looks like this. I basically have two paragraphs. This text right here, the hello there, is being generated by our PHP. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna look at how we can add some HTML text to our PHP. We can easily do that. All we have to do here is add a strong tag, for instance. So if I go ahead and just wrap the hello there inside a strong tag and I save and we refresh, you can now see that this text is indeed bold. So it's going to take on that styling. I do want to point out though that there are some situations where you have to be a little bit careful because in certain cases, HTML tags are going to require double quotation marks. Like if you are styling a link or if you're trying to assign a class or an ID to something. So for instance, if I wanted to give a class, if I was writing regular HTML, I would say class equals, and then here I would go ahead and add bold. But you can see when I do that, the, the color coding of my IDE is, all, is already changed. And if we save and we try to refresh, you can see that the page is not able to load. So it's no longer able to load the page. And that's because it essentially is seeing this print text ending right here. Like it doesn't understand it. So there's a couple of ways that you can get around this. The workaround is to use an escape with the quotation marks within the HTML. And we do that by preceding the quotation marks with a backslash. So if I add a backslash here, and then of course I'm gonna want another, add another backslash here. Now you can see that the coloring returns to the normal coloring. And if we save and we refresh our page, our page now loads and this text is now rendering as bold and blue. So it is able to render the text in the way in which we intended. So whenever you're attempting to print double quotation marks, you're going to have some errors. There's going to be a conflict that's going to occur within the page. So by escaping the quotation marks, then you're telling PHP to print the mark itself instead of just treating the quotation mark as either the beginning or the ending of a string to be printed. And so this might be true if you're doing something like this where you're adding a class or let's say I wanted to add a link if I had my a tag and I would add the href attribute, the href attri attribute, the value would usually be quoted as well. So keep that in mind. You may need to use the escape backslash to be able to utilize that type of text within your PHP.